Hey guys, it's Jordan from Love in the Ears, and this is going to be our third video on table service. And we're going to be talking about resort table service and Disney Springs. Um, first, we're going to start off with resort um, table service. And first, we're going to start at um, the Animal Kingdom Lodge. And we're going to talk about Boma. Boma is a um, buffet style and it's like flavors of Africa so they have a lot of different um, things that have to do with African food it's really good um, they they have normal food too that if you don't like that kind of stuff but I recommend trying everything on the buffet because it's really yummy and I definitely give it like two thumbs up it's very good um, the second one um, we're going to talk about is at the Grand Floridian, and that's 1900 Park Fair. And um, this one is very good also. This is a buffet as well. It's also a character dining. And they have um, the Mad Hatter, Alice, Cinderella, um, Prince Charming, um, the evil stepmother and the um, stepsisters from Cinderella so that's pretty cool um, the buffet is just like a normal buffet they have like chicken like they have meats they have salads they have like a kids bar with like mac and cheese chicken nuggets and stuff like that so it's it's normal buffet food um, I've only been there once and it's not absolutely my favorite thing, and I don't think I would really want to go there again. But it's really cool, like especially if you have young kids, um, they get to meet Cinderella and Prince Charming and all them. So that's that's really cool to be able to do, and especially if you have like kids that are picky eaters. There's all kinds of like just like chicken nuggets and stuff like that. So that's really good. Um, the third one is at the Polynesian, and it is my favorite probably my top three <laughs> favorite places to eat and this is at Ohana this is also a family style and they come out with um, shrimp steak chicken they're all in ske skewers and you can see them cooking it on the fire like on the grill and um, it's it's so delicious. Um, they give you a, a salad. It's like an Asian type salad. They give you dumplings, um, wings, noodles, and it's it's so so good. It's so good. Um, I everybody that asks me where to eat, I always mention Ohana, and it's. I can't describe how good it is. It's just fantastic. Um, the fourth one that we're going to do is at the Caribbean Beach, and it was Shutters. Um, this place made my whole family sick, so we had a bad experience <laughs> from Shutters, <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know why we got sick, but we will never go back there again. Um, I'm pretty sure the food was good when we first ate it, but we all got sick, so we will be going back there. They do have um, like chicken pasta, beef tenderloin, um, like a lime chicken, and stuff like that, just kind of normal foods, um, just with their own spin and their own flavors. The next one is at the Whispering Canyon Cafe and that is at um, Fort Wilderness Lodge. This is, this used to be one of my favorite places to eat and then they changed the menu. Um, we still have been there a couple times but it's not one of my favorites. They used to have this um, pot roast that was to die for and they took it away and it made me very sad and now they have like a all-you-can-eat platter like 
and it has like brisket, pulled pork, ribs, um, beans, um, corn on the cob, and um, cornbread. And they also have like meatloaf, um, salads, and um, pork shank and stuff like that. Um, I don't really care to go back because it's it's good food, but there's better places to eat, I believe. Um, once they took that pot roast away, it just kind of made me not want to go there anymore. <laughs> but we did go last year, and I mean, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite place to eat, but it was pretty good. I recommend going at least once. Um, it's, it's okay. Now we're going to go to Coronado Springs. And the restaurant there is a Mexican style, and it's called La Ventanas. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that I'm not saying either one of those correctly. Um, this was pretty good. Um, it's once again, it's not my favorite um, restaurant. We've only been there once. Probably won't go back. It's um, they have like um, ribs, marinated chicken, um, like chips. And pork loin, mai mai, um, stuff like that. Um, like I said, it wasn't very rememberable. Um, I can't really remember everything about it because it's just, it was mediocre. Um, and that hotel's very strange. It, I think it's more like a, a business like when you're going on business trips, they'll send you there, and that's where you stay. So the whole feel over there was not like a normal Disney experience. It was just kind of odd. Um, it was, it was strange. <laughs> the next one is at the um, Fort Wilderness um, campground, and it's the Hoofy Doo Musical Review. And this one takes two of your table services. Two. So if you're going there, you will have to use two of your table service if you're on the dining plan. Um, this is a dinner show. Um, the show was fun. I had a bad experience, I feel like, because we got stuck right behind a wooden pole. So after we did that and I couldn't really see that well, it kind of just ruined my whole evening because I was like, we paid good money for this and all this. So... I'm sure if you got to sit in the um, upper deck balcony, um, it would be better, or in the middle, where you don't have a big pole in your way. They have fried chicken, baked beans, ribs, corn, green salad, and cornbread. Um, this. I didn't really care for the food. It wasn't that great. I'm pretty sure that you're just paying for the show. Um, and like I said, the show was really good, but where we were seated was not. So it was, it just made me have a bad experience. Um, I don't think we're going to do it again because I don't want to waste two table services on it, but I do recommend doing it. It was fun, and it, it definitely would have been um, fun if we weren't where we were seated. So I think we were on tier two. So try to get other ones just to make sure you don't get um, seated where we got seated. The next hotel is Old Key West and it is, the restaurant is Olivia's Cafe. Um, they have prime rib, pork rib, steak, burgers, chicken, and they also have tofu and rice. Um, this was really good. We've eaten there once. Um, just like I said before, we, we like to try every place at least once or twice just to make sure if we had a bad experience, um, we'll do it again just in case the kitchen was off or something. Um, this was pretty good. Um, the theming there was very pretty. It was like kind of beachy, um, they had, it was like all white, I don't know, it was just like a nice feel there, and it was pretty good, so I recommend going there as well. The last one of the resorts 
is a com contemporary resort, and it was Chef Mickey's. Um, this is also a character dining with um, Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Donald. And this is a buffet. So, and this is a normal buffet. It doesn't have any like weird flavoring stuff. And but they have like a fruit bar, salad bar. They have chicken. They have ribs. They have mac and cheese. So like all the normal stuff you would get at a buffet. Um, the food was okay. Um, it wasn't my favorite place to eat. Um, meeting the characters is what makes it really. Um, there's a lot other buffets that are better, but also like I said before, if you have kids, um, this is a perfect place to go take them to eat because they get to see eat with the characters and they can pick whatever foods they want or how much they want. Um, they did have a problem with keeping the bowls filled. Um, so like people were eating so much and they couldn't replenish it fast enough. So there was a lot of stuff like you couldn't get seconds of or something that you really enjoyed you couldn't get seconds of. So that was all of the resorts um, that I have eaten at. There is a ton, ton more of restaurants. I just have not eaten at them. Um, hopefully one day <laughs> I'll get to every single one of them. So now we're going to go to Disney Springs. Um, I have eaten at three places there. The first one that I've eaten at at Disney Springs is Planet Hollywood. Um, I have not eaten at the new Planet Hollywood, and I don't think I will eat there. I'm just not a big fan of Planet Hollywood's, and it's nothing special. Like, you can go to other places and eat at Planet Hollywood, like the beach or something. <laughs> so I like to eat at places that you don't seem normal, normally at, um, house, at the house or something, um, or on other vacations. Um, they have like burgers, ribs, chicken sandwiches, um, and pasta plates. Um, I have heard other reviews from uh, the new Planet Hollywood, and I've heard like really bad ones that they're not that great <laughs> to eat at, so um, I don't really recommend eating there. I mean, a lot of people like to go to Planet Hollywood because maybe it's fam familiar to them, um, but there's just so many better places to eat at Disney than to eat there. <laughs> the second one is Portobello's. Um, this is Italian restaurant. They have like pizzas, pasta, seafood, and it's pretty good. I had the pizza there. It's like a flatbread pizza, and it was pretty tasty. Not as good as Via Napoli. So if you're going to eat Italian, then eat at Via Napoli and Epcot. <laughs> um, their pizza is the best <laughs> I've ever had. Um, but Portobello's is very good. I do recommend eating there at least once. Okay, and the last one at Disney Springs that I've eaten at is the Raglan Road. And this is an Irish pub. And they have like fish and chips and like shepherd's pie, lamb, and burgers. Um, this was pretty good. Um, the seating we had, it was kind of like a, um, like a bar stool and like stuff like that. And that was kind of uncomfortable. It, um, like a high top table, that's what I meant. That, and that wasn't the best, but they do have other seating, so maybe it would have been a little bit better than the high top table. I do recommend eating there. It was pretty good. So that concludes all the restaurants that I've eaten at in resorts and Disney Springs. Um, like I said before, there is a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of restaurants that I have not eaten at, especially at Disney Springs. There are so many new restaurants there that I have not eaten at. Um, I really want to eat at the Boathouse and um, Paddlefish, um, but we just haven't. Um, those are more expensive ones, and I do believe they both take two of your dining um, services um, credit things so I hope to eat there one day um, and if you like this video give it a thumbs up please and subscribe to the channel